It's a who reviews. And today I'm reviewing the season finale of Young Justice Outsiders. First episode 24 Into the Breach. And in this, the Outsiders decide to scope out at uh, Goodwill Studios, even though the Justice League already said both true it. And uh, Cyborg reveals that he's able to uh, become like a electrical current or something, or part of the system, since uh, he was able to feel when the motor box that Granny was gonna destroy was uh, in trouble. And he was able to get a uh, text message that, that Viola was sent to bring on. So he was able to sniff out some uh, apocalyptic apoc apoc tech. And it turns out that Granny uh, has overlord and goes to do as well as her house. And he puts some of the team in an, an X pit. Yeah. He takes that beast boy out to teach him a lesson, and the two are just fighting. That day it was pretty good. And I just, I get, get a little, I get, I kind of a little bit believe that beast boy get beat up by his old lady, but mm. and Cyborg is uh, facing uh, a virtual avatar while team get overlord is, and yes, he uh, destroys it and. Does that deconnects at the X pit and actually open up a portal or a boom tube to the ship where uh, the Markovs uh, and some of the other heroes are as he frees uh, Violet and as he frees everybody on the ship uh, from uh, the anti life equation as he, tra as he traps Granny. And it turns out that uh, Overlord is, uh, has power to uh, put Granny in, like, onto Earth, down to the, the ship. And, uh, and let's see everybody gets home and everybody agrees that uh, Vic was the MVP of the day and he finally decides to uh, join the Outsiders and uh, when he comes out Cyborg. Yep. And uh, I got my, my further opinions on the episode at the end. So next uh, is episode 25, Overwhelmed. In this, uh, Arachnus uh, calls to Tama, Megan, and somebody I can't remember the name of over. Because he's kind of freaking out when uh, Will invited, like, uh, made a Valentine's Day dinner for him, and uh, Violet and the uh, Beast Boy are after Leon. Uh, so he's yeah, freaking out, and that's the time to bring uh, Wally back to life. But it's time to can we really, can really do that, but she might be able to put her in limbo, and she'll just give her some warnings and. Artemis does go for it, and it seems like since in paradise, and the temptation of stain is too good, but Wally convinces her to go out and so open up to people again. But turns out it was just a trick by Satana and uh, Megan, uh, Megan using the, her psychic powers, and Satana using her laser domain. But thanks to both of them, uh, that uh, Artemis is able to realize that she and Will are really good match. With Will and everybody else that was watching this, well, most of everybody that was watching this agrees to. Uh, with Leanne, uh, Beast was just changed into different animals to this entertainer. And so, for some reason, and uh, Metron comes and then uh, picks up uh, Violet and Cyborg and I think he takes the arm. Maybe it's sort of a warning thing since he's interested in seeing their evolution 
That is, if Death doesn't kill them. I don't know what that was needed. And uh, Connor as he takes uh, further to uh, the new uh, uh, Geonome uh, city with says uh, Triple X is in. Yeah, apparently uh, six years ago they uh, broke out from uh, uh, Cadmus and I think, I think Superboy and Mr. Terrific from some desert thing. Oh yeah, the reason your boy is bringing uh, Forger there because uh, at the end of the last episode, Megan gave him a choice whether to go back to his uh, or back to uh, New Genesis or stay since the person that kicked him out of his old group is gone now. Uh, it's just thanks to uh, meeting Triple X that Fred decides to stay on Earth and as he says, uh, fight the good fight. And Drew is saying that uh, Connor needs to reveal himself as well since he's only yet how they get his own place in the world or something like that. I don't know. And the three uh, Markov siblings are gathering out in one scene. And then McCovey is being taken over by their, co their uh, uncle. Yeah, and of course Lex is thinking that they some like this league don't go and does need to negotiate. But beyond that, he convinces his brother to let the outsiders go. And they do with the uh, Dick Newter uh, distracting uh, the Markov's uh, uncle. And um, Megan and the others are taking care of Bed Bedlam. And. The Dallas are just taking her of the uh, the Baron himself. And apparently, this is all stays by the light, and this is the point where Terror is supposed to uh, kill Beast Boy with Lex hoping that this will show that the many human teens will be like controlled and every hero should be a uh, restrained and that. But also. Turns out that the uh, Artemis Matt already knew about a uh, tower being a double agent since then uh, when Batman and that were on the, the island with De with Deathstroke and Lady Siva on it. Batman was really dead cues when he said that uh, the tower was gone. Um yeah, Brian is really happy about the secret keeping. And yeah, he does a uh, go mad and kill his uncle. Oh, yeah, that's all called Nevermore. Hmm. And he decides to come Kang, and I think Exiles his brother. Yeah, apparently, the, the representative for uh, Makovia in the UN has a uh, some psychic ability to nudge people's uh, darker Ill impulses and the uh, entire light. And beyond the sorts of uh, old uh, thing to tire, like join me and we rule, and the same thing with the Vida, but they don't. Yeah, he's not very happy. Um, especially when the uh, when uh, the doctor that been taken sick from comes back and the rest of the country just knows there's been something sear. Yeah. Uh, Black Lightning has said uh, proof about uh, Lex Luthor being in charge of like uh, Infinity Inc. and the uh, lot of other shady things. Um, Lex tried to sweep up and then Connor reveals that he's a clone that has Superman and the uh, Lex's DNA and a lot of other stuff. And uh, it doesn't seem like the bad guys lost either because they see uh, Brianna as a bit of a puppet thanks to the country's representative. 
um, maybe eventually the world will turn to here or something. Um, with all the, the bad stuff that happened, the Connor and Miss Martin decided to go forward with their wedding, and Dick reveals that everybody in the league, our space, and in the back cave about the whole uh, anti life, anti uh, light thing. And the Ocalad, or Ocalad, or I'll say Calder, and one woman decided to step down as heads of the league, and Black Lightning, as the uh, takes charge, or not made any takes charge, and Dick uh, uh, is working with the league again. Um, this all ends by showing the montages of the uh, people or kids in the Medium Research Center and uh, Superboy, Rizri and Superboy and Fred are going to be a uh, spotlight heroes of, in the Outsiders. Um, the, the party at some diner or something, it might be in a Guy Garden bar. And, there's, and they have a hint that he's a superhero with a woman having a reason ring. Apparently this is uh, in memory of uh, Michelle uh, Lion, Lion Man, or something, I don't know. I mean that's it, um, yes I do think those episodes were good. I think the uh, Overwhelm was especially good because of the whole uh, closure uh, Artemis got. And, uh, also, it's just it's over there. Victor and in, uh, into the the breach was just great. That the fight between uh, Beast Boy and Granny was just mad. Well, not really mad, it's uh, entertaining. And a plot twist with the terror not designed to go bad, but beyond doing that, they say coming. Um, yeah, I think. The season three was good. I think the first half was probably a little bit better than the second, but they all, I think they all, I think the both parts have good episodes between them. And I hope they're just hoping for season four. And I can't believe they the actors didn't really bring back get uh, Wally West. Just having like a uh, flange of room. Other than either uh, Garfield's a uh, dream or Dick's a uh, fever dream, or I don't know if that was part of the uh, Megan's it's uh, psychic powers when the uh, Agnes saw him or she transformed into Wally. I don't know. That is one to go. Every back again, one of Megan's uh, brothers or whatever. I don't know. Like, it's only in one episode, and kind of expect them to come back. Anyway, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.